Hi dear students, welcome to Vidyanagar. My name is Professor Ajit Singh. Students, maths is very important topic in BSCIT because in BSCIT we deal with programming. To making a programming, we should know the concept of maths. Also friend, maths is very important. There are different different topic in BSCIT. Let's hope we did well in 12th standard. In 12th standard, we have topic called definite integration. In that, we used to solve the integration and put upper limit minus lower limit and we get the answer. The same set of question will be asked in second semester BSc IT. In that, we have to solve definite integration by numerical method. That is numerical integration. For numerical integration, we have three rules. Represent rules, Simpson one third rule, Simpson three by eight rule. Let's talk about Simpson one third rule. In Simpson one third rule, first of all, we should know the formula. Formula is very easy. Integration a to b y dx equal to h upon three. Close bracket y zero plus y m plus two times y two plus y four plus so on plus four times y one plus y three plus y five and so on. Where where h is nothing but upper limit upper limit b minus lower limit a upon n, where n must be any integer value. This n is nothing but your sub interval, which is given in a question. Now let's reduce this formula very easily. This y zero and y n is nothing but your spring value that is I have considered is x. Now y two and y four these are the even order of y term. So I have considered is e. Now y1 and y3 it's r order of y term so i have considered is o i have reduced by x e o where coefficient of x is 1 then 2 and 3 is here and 4 so it's very easy to remember this formula now take one example the right? same example which i have did here i used to do in simpson one third rule Integration 0 to 1, x square upon 1 plus x cube dx. In problem, they have told, take n equal to 4. Now this is your 4. First of all, we should find out what is the value of h. h is nothing but upper limit 1 minus lower limit 0 upon n is given is 4 though. Upon n, that is 1 upon 4. Now, Consider the interval 0 to 1, we have to divide into sub interval of 4 because here n is given is 4. So we have divided this interval by 4 sub interval by using the value of h. Just we have to add value of h in each interval. Let's first, first value is 0. 0 plus 1 upon 4 give you 1 upon 4. So first value comes is 1 upon 4. Well, 1 upon 4 plus 1 upon 4 is give you 2 upon 4. That is nothing but 1 upon 2. So this is your value of second interval is 1 upon 2. Then 2 upon 4 plus 1 upon 4 gives you 3 by 4. This is the value of the interval is 3 by 4. Then finally, when you add 3 by 4 plus 1 upon 4, you get 1 up 4 by 4 is nothing but 1. This is your 1. Now, these are the value of x term. Using the, this x term, find out the value of y term. So this is your x0, x1 x2, x3, x4. Now, 
our y is nothing but our this function. This is nothing but x square upon 1 plus x cube. Now, when you put the value of x here, that is 0, 0 plus 1 plus 0 equal to 0. This is your y0. And this is your, when each value of x give you corresponding value of y, that is y0, y1, y2, y3, and y4. By Simpson one third rule, we know the formula. We have put in a form of formula where h upon 3, here stream value is x0 and x4. So I have written x0 plus x4 plus 2 y2. Why I have taken y2 only? Because in this order, the even order is y0, y2 and y4. But y0 and y4 comes in a stream value. That's why we have not taken y0 and y4. We have directly taken y2. Plus, what is the odd order? It's y1 and y3. So 4 times y1 plus y3. And we have put the all value. Then finally we get the answer that is 0 0.23108. That is approximately value of this function. Hope you have enjoyed well. Uh, we provide all study material of particular subject. In Vidya Langar, we don't teach. We give a complete knowledge of a particular subject. Very easy way. See you all in our regular batches. Thank you very much.